Welcome back to Carnadies.org and our brand new series, Three Months of Modal Logics, a sequel to the 100 Days of Logic. This is kind of a Logic 201 series, so if you don't have a basic understanding of logic, now might be a great time to check out the 100 Days of Logic. Also, just so you have an understanding, we're going to shoot for about three-minute philosophy videos with most of the videos here because the concepts we're dealing with are a little bit more complicated than some of the basic concepts we dealt with in the 100 days of logic. Sometimes the videos may go on farther than that, but we're going to try to keep it short and simple here. In this video, we're going to ask the question, what's the difference between modal logics with an S and modal logic? What's the difference? Well, most often when you hear the term modal logic, someone is referring to the logic of necessity and possibility, also referred to as alethic modal logic. In this series, we're generally going to be avoiding alethic modal logic, though it's advised that you watch the modal logic's basics video in the 100 Days of Logic before starting this series as a primer. That video is going to tell you a lot of good things about modal logics and give you pretty much most of the information you need about alethic modal logic to move forward in most anything you're going to be doing. Modal logics, on the other hand, are talking about a wider variety of kind of advanced logics, including alethic modal logic, but also deontic logic, temporal logic, and doxastic logic, which are the three types of logics we're going to be dealing with in this series. These seemingly kind of disparate logics often share interesting properties and interesting kind of rules of inference that are used to get from one step of them to another. And the interplay between them is important to understand. They also are important because they each relate logic to kind of one of the other major fields of philosophy. Deontic logic, of course, relates to ethics. Temporal logic relates to time and therefore metaphysics. And doxastic logic, of course, relates to epistemology and theories of belief and knowledge. So all of these modal logics have important relations to kind of our other types of philosophy, and they're kind of the connecting lines between those kinds of philosophy and logic. To kind of visualize this, think of modal logics as the overarching category that includes a lot of different kinds of these more complicated types of logic, which include alethic modal logic, the kind of normal, necessary, and possible logic you think of when you think of modal logic, but also Deontic logic that we're covering this month, temporal logic, which we'll be talking about in November, and doxastic logic, which we're going to cover in December. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and watch a new video every single day for a hundred days once again here at Carnades.org. Stay skeptical, everybody.